When I first saw the play, I realized right away that David has this tremendous facility with uh, humor. Um, he's, his writing is, is so edgy and so, uh, so much fun and so perceptive of the human foibles and of the multiple absurdities involved in a lot of these issues of, of race and, and theater and, and casting and performance. Well, a number of the characters are actually historical. Uh, people who are currently alive, <laughs> and you can find YouTube clips on them. Um, you know, there's some like Dick Cavett there's, um, that you can find YouTube clips on. For instance, um, Cameron McIntosh, uh, in most of the YouTube videos I've seen, he talks up in this higher register. Um, but in the scene that I do, he's really mad. <laughs> and so in order to carry it and in order to have the volume, I go in a lower register for that, even though that's not what I've seen of him. It's a risky thing because when an actor goes out there, um, uh, you risk the, the possibility that the audience doesn't like the character because, because the character's too far out there in a way. Um, but as it turns out, with, with an actor like Randy, and, and I always you know, bet on this, is that Randy's so charming and so engaging and so, in a way, fearless with an audience that when he goes out there, the audience goes out there with him. Actually, David gave me notes on that, that brought the absurdity of the situation up and, um, and he gave me permission to make his character more ridiculous in a way, which, um, which brought the energy of the character to another level. The thing about comedy is you never know what's funny until you get an audience. <laughs> Even if you've been doing comedy a long time, um, you know, you walk into a script, you know, in the process and you say, oh, that's funny, that's funny, that's funny. But until you get into a room with an audience, you really don't know what's going to come across as funny. Because uh, even on different nights, different things are funny, depending on how it's delivered at that moment, uh, depending on the audience, what they have did that day, you know, if they're tired or if they're awake or what they're in the mood for. What's interesting of how we're playing it, it's um, in a thrust, so there's audiences on three sides. And sometimes a laugh can, can come predominantly on the left side or the right side or the middle, depending on what the line is, how it's delivered, and who it's affecting. I know, I've known David for a while, and, uh, and in doing the part he had said, you know, don't worry about mimicking me. It's not, it's a different, it's a, my alter ego, it's a different um, aspects of me are, are shown in, in the character. So don't worry about making it look like me or have exactly my, my mannerisms. So he, that freed me up a little bit. Preview, second preview, David was there. So I had this moment of, of realization of me doing a play written by David, playing David, and David watching me play him self. And then at, at intermission, he came backstage, so I saw him, and we were talking. So I was talking to David, dressed as David, about to go on playing David in a play written by David. So uh, I've had a, there's a very surreal moment in, in my experience in acting. I've never had anything like that before, and I don't suspect that I'll have anything like that again.